chapter 3 has to do with probably more chemistry than we've even encountered in chapter 1 and chapter 2. So we're going to first talk about atoms and isotopes. Pages 44 through 47, exercise 3b. First things first, remember your terms. An atom is a neutral thing and it's comprised of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And an isotope is just a different variety of the same element. The mass number is different, but the atomic number is the same. And remember that the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus, and the mass number is the counting up of all the protons and all the neutrons in that nucleus. All right, so one of the things that we're going to ask you is how many protons, neutrons, or electrons, the subatomic particles, below the size of the atom, what a subatomic particle is, are in each of these isotopes. All the information that you need is there, that plus using the periodic table. So look at the periodic table in your book, write these down, hit pause, answer the question, and then we'll come back and take a look. Hit pause. All right, we're back. Let's take a look. Well, your job is to know that this number up in the corner is the mass number and this subscripted number is the atomic number atomic number okay so nitrogen if you look on the periodic table there it is uh, so it's not bright there we go nitrogen is right here notice that this is the periodic table of the elements and doesn't mention specifically isotopes. So when you see this number up here, that's telling you that that's the atomic number. Nitrogen has seven protons. Anything that has seven protons is nitrogen. If it has eight protons, it's a different element entirely. It becomes oxygen. We don't discuss these numbers in this chapter, so you're not looking at these. These are the molar masses. That's something that we talk about in uh, Chapter 5. All right, so you're looking here, and you're saying if we've got 15, which is equal to the mass number, which is equal to the protons plus the neutrons, and we have 7, which is the atomic number, which is equal to the protons. If we've got 15 minus 7, doesn't that give you the neutrons? Sure it does. Alright, so protons are 7 because it's the elemental symbol nitrogen and the atomic number is 7. Neutrons are 8, and since this is a neutral atom, you know that protons have a plus 1 charge, neutrons have a neutral charge, and electrons have a minus 1. For an atom to be neutral, we have to have the same number of electrons as protons. Okay? Pretty simple stuff. You can get through this pretty fast. Okay, so is there anything that's missing here? Well, yes and no. The atomic number isn't written, but if you know the symbol, you know the atomic number. We find element SR, which is right here. 38 is its atomic number. make this 81 instead of 41. Sorry about that. Okay, so what do we got here? Well, 81 is equal to the protons plus the neutrons. 38 is equal to the protons. We subtract those two to get the neutrons. 9, 10, 11, then I think I did the math right. So 43 is the neutrons, 38 is the protons, 
38 is the electrodes. Next one, man, this is like printing your own money, right? This is as simple as it gets. That's the atomic number. If we know the atomic number, we can figure out what the symbol is. We can figure out which element it is. Atomic number is 35, so let's find element number 35. Element number 35 is right here. It's bromine. Okay, so Br is the elemental symbol. And then the rest, we do exactly the same way. 81 is the protons plus the neutrons. 35 is the protons. We subtract the two to get the neutrons. That's six. 46 neutrons, 35 protons, 35 electrons, because it's a neutral atom. And the other two, just as easy. Aluminum is element number 13. So, 27 minus 13 is equal to 14. That's going to be the neutrons because that's the atomic number right there, and that's the mass number right there. So 13 protons, 13 electrons, 14 neutrons. Finally, let's finish this out with uranium. You look up element U, and that's all the way down here. Oops. There it is, uranium. Element number 92. That's the atomic number. So, 241 is equal to the protons plus neutrons. 92 is the protons. The difference is the neutrons. Okay, 149 neutrons, 92 protons, 92 electrons. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Practice a bunch of these. Shouldn't take you hardly any time at all and you'll have them down pat. Okay.